Welcome back to Blar. I'm going to take a look at Queen of the Hill. It's a card game by whoever these guys are. Medieval Lord. Alright, it says take on the role of powerful queens, the ability to summon mighty warriors, uh, gather them into your army, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 because we play this game and it's really bad. It's not a good game. It's a push your luck game. Uh, ends very quickly. 10 to 15 minutes, which is very correct, if not 5 minutes. So the box is nice. Well made. Uh, card stock is pretty decent. Uh, we have your what to do player aid cards. Um, there's a dark one, which is the bad guy. So when you pull this one, your your turn ends. Okay, let's push your luck. Uh, we'll just grab some cards here. You do have different type cards, different characters. Uh, Kenochi, a troll, Seraph, Seraph. Um, position, Ruby Heels, like an action card, a Dragon Rider, a Pirate, a Berserker, a Broken Mirror, another action card. And I think we saw that. The Enforcer, Succubus, and the Illusionist. I think that's all the card types. Oh, we have a Bombardier here. Yeah. Okay, that should be everybody. Okay, um, real quick play rules. So they all shuffle together. See, there's a lot of cards. They all go in one deck. It's really just unboxing because I, I, we played it once and it was so bad, I barely remember how to play. Because uh, there's a two-player variant where the dark one is like an AI uh, component that always goes last. So let's see, where's the start up here? Shove all the cards in a single deck, place face down. First round, first player should be the oldest player. Blah blah blah. Each player takes turns clockwise. Uh, this phase is known as the drawing phase. For each player side to turn, drawing phase ends in the tally. Phase begins, reveal the cards in the battle zone until battle points each player is tallied. Uh, highest battle points wins. The real cards in the battle zone discard into the common discard pile. The winner of the round starts the next round. Okay, battle points are reset every round. Players won two rounds, the game ends. Or I think three rounds with two player, something like that. And that's the victor. Okay, during your turn, you may gather action. Stay that as many times as you wish until you choose to stop. Nope, gathers this drawing, top card of the deck. So, you don't have any cards in hand on your turn. You're like, I'm gonna draw cards into your hand. So we got Pirate, Musician, that's their uh, value up there. Uh, keep drawing. So, the problem if you draw the, uh, the dark one, that's when it ends. Okay, that's your form. After you draw a card, if it's not a dark one, you can choose if you wish to use that card for scoring battle points th for this round. If so, place face down vertically in front of you in the battle zone for the diagram. It's called forming and it symbolizes sending this warrior to challenge other players for the hill. All right, battle points contributed uh, by warrior shown on the top right corner. So right there. Uh, does not have a trigger. Its ability stays on the card after it's all around. All cards in the battle zone are discarded. Keep. If you draw cards instead of using battle points through form, actually stated above, you can instead hold on to a future round to trigger the warrior's stated ability. It's known as keeping. Cause the warrior to avoid all his battle points, and the warrior will never contri contribute battle points towards the round. In this banner, some warriors may still use boost or add battle points as their ability effects. Blah, blah, blah. Prayer to the diagram. Uh, if you draw the dark one at any point during your turn, you must end your turn immediately. You also lo lose all your cards in the battle zone, and you are discarded without scoring any battle points. All right, important exception, the dark one is that as long as you have no cards in your battle zone, in your keep zone, any dark one you draw is discarded immediately. Okay, if you don't have anything, he doesn't do anything, of course. All right, so you got your battle zone, your keep zone, your ready zone. Uh, keep zone cards here are placed horizontally and do not influence the game. Anyway, for now, cards to keep staying go over to the ready zone at the end of every round. Cards here can use the ability anytime to trigger the ability effects stated on the card. Fighting conditions are mint. 
So it sounds like not a bad game, but it plays very bad. Maybe with more players, it's okay. I don't know. Um, some of the cards, single deck. First round, always play blah, 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 and gather, form, and keep. So I think it's... So we've gathered these cards. We're doing pretty good. We have three cards. You can keep going. So if you get a dark one, you lose, you lose, pretty much lose your turn. All right, so the next person would go, they would start to gather into their hand. They got a five, they got a, a three, a four. So it's like, okay, I'm doing pretty good here. Uh, some of these people have abilities. So we'll put these into the battle zone. That's an eight. Uh, we'll keep this into the keep zone horizontally. Next person will go, we'll say they're gonna grab uh, well, they have six, so they're going to want more than that. Uh, not much here. Grab another one. So now they're probably going to do, do this. They're going to keep this, put these into the battle. Okay, that's that. Everybody's ready to battle. Uh, I think he just, he just flip and compare um, points. Alright, right. Got the draw phase, blah blah blah. Real all cards in the battle zone. Total battle points. Highest points wins. Alright, so if nothing triggers, everything is in the keep zone. This person's just gonna add the top of their numbers here. So you have five and two. So you have seven and seven. Uh, I don't know. Let's just do this. I don't feel like ties. I'm sure these all discard. I don't know. So we play this instead. So we have eleven uh, versus their seven. So we win that round. So we got one round checked off. We got to win one more round, and the game ends. And that's it. So you really just push your luck. Uh, so next round. These all discard. Uh, I'm going to draw a couple here. Got a dark one. My turn would end. That's it. Goes around again. Uh, this first player orb should be out already. Don't worry about that. So let's say we do this. Okay, we have eight. We'll grab one more. Dark one, turn ends. And that's how this game works. Say that didn't happen. Say we didn't get the dark one. We're just going to play one more <laughs> round. Yeah, this game is bad. Uh, Broken Mirror is a special action card. Cancel ability any card being played. Uh, cannot cancel Ruby Hearts or other Broken Mirrors or Dark Ones. So can't cancel Dark Ones. Um, so let's look for that Ruby Heals really quick. Uh, of course, I'm not going to be able to find it, right? Broken Mirror again. Alright. Really? I think there's eight Dark Ones. All right, that's the other action kind of card here. Ruby heals. This says safely discard a dark when you drew. So, so you did draw this. You have this. You're ready. You're like, ah, oh, let's play that. Didn't happen. You could continue, I think. So we'll continue. All right. So we'll stay here at ten. This person's going to draw. All right. We'll just say they stay here. Everything goes into the battle zone. Flip face down. Flip face up. But now this is in your ready zones, so you can trigger the ability. So say I want to say swap one card from the battle zone with one card from another battle zone. Hmm. So I guess the illusionist can be like, I want that four. I'm going to take this two, and I'm going to swap it. All right. So now I have more points. Uh, this person has Kenochi. Add four battle points to your total if you already have one battle point, at least one battle point. All right, so I guess she would just add four to her three. So she would have seven, or he would have seven. Um, I would have, what, 12? Again, the text doesn't matter. Only when they come into your, from your ready zone. All right, what zone is this? Your keep zone. Uh, it's just the ready zone. You can use the so you keep it on one turn. Next turn you can use it. So... It looks okay. Uh, maybe if you had three players or four players, it's better. But like when you play two player in the dark one, just draws as many cards as he can. It's just really annoying. <laughs> that is Queen of the Hill. Card game.
Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I would skip this. And thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.